All right, good evening, everybody. It is day 24 of the carnivore diet. What news have I got for you today? Um, put on a little bit of water weight again last night, um, which, I, again, I sort of expected because I had a lot more calories than normal yesterday, and I went up a little bit, which I kind of expected. Uh, it's no panic. It's like whatever. Um, what's interesting, though, is that I did have an electrolyte water yesterday, so... Um, the electrolytes that I decided to get are these ones. don't know if you can see that. Come on, focus. Those ones. And I started taking those today, but yesterday I did have a water, an electrolyte water that already had it in. Um, so technically I kind of started electrolytes yesterday, but I started my ones today. And so I don't know if maybe that had anything to do with it, maybe retaining a little bit more water or something, because frankly, I wouldn't expect that eating a couple of extra hundred calories is going to put on any weight over one day period anyway. So I suspect that that's probably water weight as well. We'll start to see over the next few days, because like I said, I'm going to start having some electrolytes every day. The other thing I'm doing is I am, I haven't phased out coffee completely and I haven't phased out tea completely but I am having less and less and I'm trying to drink more water. And the goal is, again, like I said the other night, was to basically tail off and try and get completely off the caffeine so I'm not having any coffee or tea or really any milk either at all and just sticking to water most of the time and, and some electrolyte drinks and things like that. So that's the goal. I didn't hit my goal today of doing that. Um, I... I was in London all day at some meetings, so I got about 8,000 steps in, which was pretty good. I still haven't got any more trainers, so I haven't been back to the gym yet, but I didn't have an opportunity to do that today. I probably will tomorrow. Um, 1,800 calories. So I did have a little bit of a slip up as well. I, I woke up late. Uh, anyway, you don't need to know what happened to me, but basically my day kind of got thrown off from first thing this morning because... I woke up late and then I had a problem with my bike and then my wife had to take me to the train and then I had to get to London and I was running late. So I didn't eat breakfast until I got to London. There wasn't anything to have. So I just popped into McDonald's and I got a double, um, a double sausage McMuffin with egg and just took the bread and the cheese off. So I literally had two sausage patties and an egg. And then I went to my meeting. I had a cup, like some peppermint tea and, and one cup of or a half a cup of coffee with a teeny bit of milk in it and then went to lunch and had the tiniest two skewers of lamb and a lot of spicing on it a lot of a lot of salt actually and a lot of spices on the lamb and then the, literally the only other thing they had on the menu that I, sorry I should also say I hate lamb I really 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 don't like lamb but I forced myself to have the couple of skewers. And then the only, really the only other thing they had, the noodles on the menu were some like popcorn chicken things. So it was chicken and it was breaded. And I figured that if it was like fried chicken, I could probably just peel the breading off, but it really wasn't like that. There was only about five or six pieces. So I just ate it. So I have had a little bit of wheat today and I, I did feel bloated on the way home. On the train, but the interesting thing was is that I was also trying to drink 750 mils of liquid because I'd put the electrolyte pack into some water then also, and so um, what I I don't think I'm going to try and mix that. I know it says on the packet to mix it with 750 mils, but that's a lot of water to try and drink, and it says to drink it like immediately. Now I don't know how quickly you actually need to drink it or not, but I did try and drink it, you know, f fairly quickly. And I just found, I just struggled to drink that much liquid at one time. So what I'm thinking is I might just mix it. I'll try it in 500 mils tomorrow and see how that goes. Cause that might be a little bit more manageable. I know, um, I've had some people tell me just put it in a, like in a mug like that. It makes it really strong, but you can just get it down. And you don't have to spend two hours drinking it. So 
I might try that as well. But I was, I actually felt quite uncomfortable and I wasn't sure whether it was the water or whether it was maybe having that, just that little bit of wheat. Um, I'm not really sure, but yeah, anyway, not ideal. I'm not best pleased of myself for doing that, but I was pretty hungry at the time and I ended up doing that. And then on the way home, I just stopped in a, I found a, a grocery store and stopped in and got some chicken. So I had some roast chicken and, um, what else did I have? Um, a pepperoni. So I had, I had that on the way home and then I just had some, I had like 250 grams of ground beef tonight and that's pretty much it. So not ideal. I had a lot more carbs, like most of my carbs for the last, what, 20, 20 odd days have been at the most, I think I'd had sort of 40 grams of carbs and I had 67 today. So a lot higher. And I'm not so sure about that because I couldn't account for everything exactly, but not ideal, not where I wanted to be, but that's okay. I had a small slip up. I'll live. The world won't end and I'll just continue on. So, but it'll be interesting to see what effect that has tomorrow. And then it's also going to be interesting to see what effect the, the electrolytes have over the, you know, sort of over the next few days. And also as I continue doing weight training as well, so I expect, just just so everybody knows, my prediction is is that I'll probably continue to put a little bit of weight back on, but that's just going to be water weight from getting a pump in the muscles. It's not obviously not going to be fat, and I'll continue to change my shape, but the numbers of weight may or may not change very much at all, which is okay. I don't mind if I could have like twelve fifty. 12, 15% body fat and weigh what I weigh now, that would be amazing because that would mean I'd put on quite a bit of muscle and I'd be a lot more toned than I am now. So that would be cool, but I have to also be realistic. I'm in my mid fifties and it's not easy to put on muscle. It's not, it's never been easy for me to put on massive amounts of muscle at any point in my life. And that's certainly not going to be any, any more the case now. So I think I'll do really well just to, to tone up and maybe look a little better, but I don't think I'm going to change. I'm not going to add tremendous amounts of muscle. So anyway, I feel like I'm waffling again, but, uh, and making excuses, but no excuses. I had a slip up today and that's it. We move on. So we will try and do better tomorrow. And hopefully I'll have a new pair of trainers that I can show you as well. So until then, if you're on a diet, stick with it. If you're not, I hope you subscribe and follow and watch my journey and see what sort of crazy stuff happens to me along the way. Anyway, see you guys. Good night.